how it's been a while since we did one of these vlogs um but it's been a bit chaotic here uh from getting back from australia with the boyd xl clinic right through to now it's been crazy busy um not so much with driving events but just in with life in general and work and whatnot so the ponies are actually had a couple of weeks off recently um I've worked by once, day before yesterday, and I'd always said as of today, Monday the 20th, we'd get back into the swing of things and, and get back into morning workouts. So I'm out here at the farm now, um, I'll just take you outside and show you the beautiful sunrise that we've got this morning. Um, hang on. I'm not sure... If the video will capture, oh uh, yeah, there we go. So that's the sunrise this morning. Ah, uh, beautiful. And it is about half past six. So, um, thanks to the great lighting on these Samsung cameras, um, it actually looks a lot brighter in the film than it is. But I'm going to go grab the boys and um, work Henry, then work Bo. And yeah, get back into working them in the mornings. Um, I've got a meeting this evening, uh, a couple of hours away, so I have to travel to get to that. But really good motivator to get back into to get back into it because not only has life been really busy, but I've been really lazy as well. So let's do this. You may or may not have noticed when I was harnessing up that my horse float was missing. Um, one of the reasons why I've been so busy is issues with my float. So when we were going to Tangamoana Combined Drive, which is about a well, five and a half to six hour drive from where I live, um, I got a blowout on the float, which was no big deal at the time, well, or so I thought. Um, I couldn't stop straight away, um, as I had lots of traffic uh, right up my ass, and there was, there was no real area to pull over. But I eventually did pull over, and by that point the tyre was ripped to uh, shreds, so there was no tyre left to speak of anyway. Um, but then unfolded the drama of the fact that my spare tyre, uh, where it sits on the float, uh, the top half looked primo. But then on closer inspection, the bottom part, where it, where it hangs, the bottom part of the tyre itself, uh, had started to um, deteriorate and corrode. And so you could, you could literally see the wires hanging out of the tyre. Um, so it was just fortunate that it happened to be that Kathy, my very good friend Levi's mum, uh, was travelling behind me by about 15 minutes. So she she got to me and pulled over and, and 
and started helping but it also was just coincidental that my dad was also going down to BTD for this combined drive and he was about uh, 30 minutes behind me so another quarter of an hour behind Kathy and he, I, I rang him and, and I told him what was happening and he said don't worry I'll be there soon and so when he got there we got the, the spare tyre on and we were about 15k out of Awakuni so I said well this spare will get me to Awakuni but it won't get me any further than that and um, so we got to Awakuni and, and we, we found a little um, mechanic uh, Awakuni is a very very small um, ski town so in the winter it's buzzing but in the summer which is right now it's absolutely dead but but we found a mechanic but unfortunately in their stock of tires they didn't have a replacement for me and so dad took the rim to another local place in town that they're like a second hand tire kind of outfit the only other place in Aokuni that had tyres they didn't have it either but they decided well we'll try and just put a standard car tyre on the rim and so they did and brought it back and then when dad was putting it onto the float we realised quickly that it wasn't going to work because the standard car tyre was significantly wider than the tyres that we had on the float so long story short, I'd been on my on the phone to my hubby the whole time, who was back in Tiamuru, which is about three hours from Oakuni, in a car, a bit longer for me in the float. And I said to him, I, I can't go, I can't do anything without any tyres, and ideally I would need two, I'd need to replace the one that was on the float, and I would like to have a, a spear, just in case something else happens. And so my darling husband, being the darling husband that he is, um, was ringing around the entire North Island trying to find these tyres and see if there were any that were close by. As it turns out, the closest place of all places was my hometown, Te Aumiri. So, darling husband went to the tyre shop, bought these two tyres, um, and then travelled all the way down to Oakuni uh, to, to meet me at the tyre shop where I was parked up and waiting. Now thankfully, um, between Kathy and her horse truck and my dad who has a little, um, like a single cab holding ute, they were able to take uh, my two ponies, so two pon Henry and Bo hopped up into Kathy's uh, horse truck, but to make room for Henry and Bo, Kathy had to put her carriage onto the back of my dad's ute. Um, so we rearranged all that, so now Henry and Bo are safely on their way to Tangi Moana uh, with Kathy and Levi and uh, Kathy's carriage is on the back of Dad's ute. Dad had to get down there kind of, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't spend all day waiting with me because he had to inspect the, the course and the cones and the arena and all that being TD. So I sit around for near on four hours at, at um, Oakuni waiting for husband and I'm not complaining at all because without without him doing what he did I would I would have been still in Oakuni I think um, and we finally get down there and, and they they the tire shop were amazing so um, shout out to Oakuni uh, mechanics and tire shop because they were just fantastic 100% recommend them um, and they got the the two new tyres uh, onto the two rims and, and back onto the float even for me so we, we were all set to go and then I noticed that the the tyre that had blown was on a significant lean on the float and the guy at the tyre shop noticed it as well and it, it really started to get me worried and then I thought back to the week before when we were coming home from the dressage champs um, on State Highway 5, which is the road between Napier and Taupo. And I, I vaguely recall on the way home hitting a pothole and thinking, oh crikey. Yeah, so that's what's kept us busy the last little while. And um, we've got our all harness show pod and one hour combined drive this coming weekend. So it's Monday today. We've got that this coming weekend here at at our farm 
And then the following weekend, we've got Marin's Villa AMP show, uh, which is only, you know, it's about an hour away. Still quite haven't figured how I'm going to get there, but we'll work that out. I'll borrow a friend's float and we'll put the carriage on Dad's ute or something like that. And then um, we've got a little bit of a break before we've got the uh, next combined drive for us, which will be the start of April. Hopefully my float is ready by then. Anyway, Henry, trot it on. Round, over, over. Good boy, and straight. Steady, round, round boat. Round boat. Good boy. Good boy. Stretch out. Good boy. Steady. Steady. Change. Over. Round. Round. Good boy. Straight. Round. Good boy, chopped on. Round. Round. Good boy. Listening. Round. Bow. Canter. Oh, good lad. Canter on. Round. Oi. Round. Good lad. Come on. Hey. Canter. Good boy. That's better. Good lad. And trot. And trot. Good boy. Brown. Brown bow. Brown bow. Good boy. Trot on. Good lad. Bow. Bow. Step out. Step out, bow. Step out, bow. Step out, good boy. Come round. Round. Round, bow. Good lad. Round. Come on, chop it on. Chop it on. Good boy. Come on. Okay, listening. Bow, round. Canter. Canter. Good boy. Good boy. Boy, round, round, good lad. Okay, and drop it on straight and change and canter. Good boy, <laughs> he's a clever lad. Shall we try one more? And drop it on and change and canter. Oh, who's a clever boy? Hey, who's clever? Very good boy. And trot on. Good boy. Good lad, boy. Let's go have some fun now. Good boy. 
Good boy. So what I'm working on with Bo is not necessarily speed or anything or even going the right way in the obstacles. Bo has a tendency to fall in in the shoulder if I'm not driving him, you know, 100% all the time. So what I'm working on is just making sure that every corner that we do or every circle that we do, he's on the right bend and he's not dropping his shoulder. Because dropping shoulders in obstacles is what leads to carriages going up posts and trees. So I just want, like you can see now, he's a bit stiff through the back. Good boy. I just want him to lift that shoulder up and actually use his body to go around the corner rather than just uh, like a deck of cards fall over. Good boy. Come on. So how I do that is lots of outside rain. Sponging with that inside rain to ask for the bend, but more pressure on the outside rain um, to hold the circle to the shape that I want it to be. And then just asking with that inside. And as soon as he gives it to me, come on, get over. Get over. Oh, good boy. I reward with a release of the reins. So it's almost like pressure on, pressure on, asking, asking, lots of pressure. Uh, not in terms of hard, good boy. Not in terms of how hard my hands are, but in terms of what his mind is capable of um, absorbing. Steady. Come on, over, over, good boy. And then as soon as he does what I'm asking, whether it goes round or soft or gets that shoulder out of the way, I give him a release of the reins to let him know that that's what I want, good boy. Now as you can see, when I go up the hill, he finds it easier than when we go down the hill. And that's just pure physics. Come on, over, good boy. So I just want it to become ingrained in him and the, that's the way that we go around corners and obstacles so that I don't have to think about whether he's going to drop his shoulder and send me up a post um, I can I can put a little bit more of my limited brain power into where we're actually going uh, especially with the pier good boy Good boy. All right. Come round. Bo. Round. Round. Good boy. Good boy. Round. So driving with that outside rain to make the circle as big as I want it to be. Straight. Change. Oh, good lad. Come on. Round. Outside rain. Holding him out so he doesn't drop that shoulder in. Inside whip. Acts like the inside leg when you're riding. Good boy. Trip done. And I don't actually care the way that I'm going to the gates at the moment. I could, uh, we're going to Africa for all, all that really matters because he doesn't know where the gates are all he knows is that he's been asked to do something particular and that's not drop a shoulder good boy good boy come around come around good lad come around round Round, but over. Good boy. Good lad. Happy, eh? Much more comfortable, right? Okay, step about. Trotting. Good boy. Round. Round. Good boy, trot it on. Good lad, trot it on. 
Come on. Good lad. Right, over. Oh. Kenta. Kenta. Oh, good boy.